this is a piece of equipment made by Moreto. And as we try to discover the different tools that are out there that can help us manage the organic matter near the surface as the plant generates it and move away from sand top dressing a little further, reduce our sand top dressing, and do practices that are far more golf friendly um, and not rely so much on rescue tools and practices like uh, deep tining and grading, drill and fill. These tools, in my opinion, are more of a rescue type approach. So this here would be something that we could utilize uh, often throughout the season. Do it um, enough to physically remove some of the organic matter and perhaps break these plugs back up and recycle the existing sand so we're not constantly grazing the grade of the sand the grade of the green itself with the sand top dressing and then when you're done dragging these what would be left floating on the surface would be this little bit of organic matter thatch near the surface and we would remove that and then once that is done you could see these holes um, will impact play very little for a very short period of time the poanya won't uh, be able to take advantage of that uh, void because it's just too small it'll heal back up so we're going to do this we're going to demo this machine uh, practice a little bit on different ways to break up these cores and work the sand back in and see what it looks like after we mow and perhaps even roll them and uh, document how golf friendly it is and the different um, benefits agronomically this is a series of different tines that go on this attachment we're demoing today this time here. Um, there's even a smaller time for removing the, the, uh, the scores that would be even less intrusive. So perhaps that could be done mid-season. This time could be used shoulder seasons. There's a series of solid tines here, which we have a tool already that can accomplish what I call burp burping, burping the soil. Solid tines are good at that, but obviously you're not removing any material. You're just simply disturbing the uh, sand particles and uh, pushing the gases out and replenishing them. This attachment here looks interesting. I'm curious to see what that looks like in practice. God, you can't even see the holes. <laughs> it's perfect. Beautiful. Light but frequent. It's the name of the game. So after we treated this nursery with the mini core airifier, you can see the holes are almost already gone. Now we're going to go with our favorite machine, the little POA Buster, that um, these two tools combined is really going to help us reduce our sand top dressing, minimize the organic matter um, deposit, or help us manage the organic matter deposit, recycle the existing sand top dressing, and do this all in a very efficient, cost-effective and very golf-friendly way that um, that will help us manage this thatch and prevent the need for those rescue tools of grading, um, heavy frequency and top dressing, drill and fill, coirifying, things that are prone to plant poania. Um, disturbs play. Sometimes you even have to close the facility down to do them. I mean those tools are really powerful when you're when you fall behind in doing this type of practice but um, we don't plan to fall behind with our new greens by utilizing tools like this. Look at the amount of biomass this is kicking up. It's just impressive as can be. And yet once we clean this up, drag it, mow it, or roll it, the golfer will be right back on it. So if I can get a Monday to myself and not have an outing, 
Uh, we can get all the greens done like this, do it probably once every three weeks or so, depending on the uh, weather pattern and the uh, growth cycle of the turf, and, um, and really be able to stay ahead of it all. So you can see all this biomass that was just removed in a very quick, efficient, effective manner. We first punched tiny little holes, then we went with the Poa Buster Verticutter, then we, then we dragged it, and then we blew it, and now Mike is mowing it. You can see very little disturbance. Now mind you, there's another set of tines that's available that, that's half again uh, the size of these, an eighth inch. Um, I kind of like the bigger one here because these are going to swell shut anyways pretty quick. And it'll take out more material and be a little less prone to uh, clogging. But this is, uh, to me, this is very impressive. It's pretty plant friendly, extremely golfer friendly. And um, you do this at least once a month. And I think um, you have a fighting chance to stay ahead of the organic matter generation, reduce your sand top dressing, and so on.